The attack framework itself, there are uh, over 200 different techniques. Uh, the, the cool thing is that some of the techniques map across different tactics. There's a couple different ways that an organization would want to start adopting it or leveraging the attack framework. Uh, one of the concepts would be uh, maybe doing it by a tactic by tactic, so a column by column basis, uh, where you're looking at, I want to focus on uh, initial access, then persistence, or so on and so forth. Uh, one of the, the weird things about doing it that way is if you look at the cyber Lockheed Martin kill chain uh, where you're looking at how an adversary moved through your environment uh, they you know start with you know reconnaissance working their way all the way down to action on objectives and an attacker is going to start at the beginning work their way to the end the attack framework doesn't work like that the attack framework they're not, not, not going to start at initial access and work their way all the way across the, the matrix uh, they may start you know with uh, execution and then work down to uh, persistence, then lateral movement, and then exfiltration, and then you know all these different things. So they're going to be bouncing all around. Uh, so so focusing on a, a column by column or tactic by tactic basis may not work. Uh, one of the better ways to do it is first assess your own organization. There's some really good tools that you can use this. One of them is available for MITRE. Uh, is they're called their Attack Navigator. Uh, it's available on GitHub. You can either use their live version or you can download it, use it on site. Uh, but what it allows you to do is interact with the, the actual matrix itself and then start mapping what you have. Uh, one of the best ways to get started is just ask your security vendors. Uh, say, hey, you know, hey, security vendor A, uh, you know, attack's really popular, uh, how do you map into it? A lot of security vendors like ourselves actually have this data available. Uh, we actually have it available in a JSON format that you can import directly into the attack navigator. So you can see from a high level objective, what is my potential coverage? Right, so this may be if you've bought everything in the kitchen sink from that security vendor, which you may not have, but at least it gets you a starting point. Uh, from there, you're gonna wanna start assessing your systems. This is what our coverage should be. Uh, let's look at how we can actually test it. You know, looking at the attack matrix itself, you can look at how you would uh, abuse these uh, specific tactics. There's some actual really good resources available from MITRE themselves or some open source, uh, uh, open source resources available on GitHub that you can actually use to, to red team yourself if you have no experience. It makes it really easy to do. So you can start testing it, saying I should have uh, coverage for this specific tactic or technique. Uh, I'm gonna try to test it or abuse it myself. Uh, does it actually map up to what I have? Am I able to mitigate it? Am I able to detect it? Uh, hopefully you can be doing both. If you can't, then you just go into it. And it's a continuous cycle. It's not a one-time thing. It's a carousel. It goes up and down and around, and you're going to be putting, always doing it. It's not a one-time thing.